this video, I'll highlight some of the features and data you can find on your teacher dashboard, which is the landing page you will see immediately after logging into Literally. The dashboard is useful for providing a bird's eye view of all of your students' recent Literally assessment results. There are three main sections on your teacher dashboard. The first is the set of quick tools in the top right hand corner. These icons allow you to quickly access reading level conversions for Literably, common core comprehension data for your class, and the Literably Help Center. Clicking on your email allows you to change your account settings, including the option to download the data export for your class. The second main section of your teacher dashboard is the Contact Us button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. This pop-up allows you to send a question to our support center if you need assistance. The third main section of your teacher dashboard is the Data section, which contains your students' most up-to-date assessment results. Much of this data can also be found in the summary results email you receive when students' assessments are graded. We'll focus on this section the most, since there's a lot of data in here. Please note that the triangle next to each of the column headers allows you to sort your students' data. In the first column of the data section, you will find a list of your students' names. Clicking on a student's name will take you to that student's assessment history page, which will detail each assessment that student has taken on literally. The next two columns list the current instructional and independent reading levels for your student. If there's an asterisk next to the instructional level, this means that the level is currently being estimated and has not yet been confirmed. The color coding refers to grade level expectations. Blue means exceeds, green meets, yellow approaches, red does not meet. For more details about estimated instructional levels and the color code, you can visit our Help Center. Under the Reassess column, you may see a circular arrow. This means that the student has scored far above or below her reading levels and literally recommends taking another assessment to help zero in on the student's levels. Ultimately, however, we leave it up to teachers to decide whether to reassess a student. You can also feel free to reassess the student at any time, even if the circular icon isn't there. Under the Next Assessment column, you will find the level and title of the text that has been automatically assigned to your student for her next assessment. This is based on the student's scores on her previous assessment. However, you have the option to change the level and text using the drop-down menus. You can also preview the texts and comprehension questions using the magnifying glass icon. Under Last Assessment, you will find the name and level of the last assessment your student took, along with the accuracy and comprehension scores, as well as the reading rate. The color coding for the reading rate refers to grade level expectations. You can click on the name of the assessment to view the full assessment report, which contains a running record, comprehension results, and the retail. Let's use a sample student to see what kind of data can be found on your teacher dashboard. Say I want to check on my student Nancy Drew's recent literally activity. On my dashboard, I can see that she last took an assessment in April of 2019 using the text Elephant's Friend. On this assessment, she scored 99.5% in accuracy and 100% in comprehension at a rate of 194 words correct per minute. Based on these scores, Literably has assigned her a text at level S for her next assessment. Because Nancy scored very high, there's a reassess icon by her name, but this is merely a recommendation. Based on her scores, Literally has estimated her instructional level to be S and her independent level to be Q. There's an asterisk next to the S because we can't be sure that this is her level until she passes a level S assessment. As you can see, the dashboard provides a snapshot of Nancy's assessment results, and you can find more details by clicking on her name and viewing her assessment history. As a final note, if you are designated as an administrator on Literally, then you will also see a list of teachers at your school or district at the bottom of your dashboard, with the option to view their dashboards. For more information about any of the data in this section, please take a look at the Understanding Your Teacher Dashboard article in the Literally Help Center.